Let me show you my new favorite pasta. Welcome to another episode of How to Make Dinner. If you're new here, my name's Paula, and today I want to show you my favorite pasta of the moment. It has five ingredients. It's zingy and flavorful and creamy and just kind of hits all the spots that I'm looking for and it could not be easier to make. I was holding out on this recipe for a minute there because I have this idea to put together a five ingredient pasta cookbook. Uh, maybe it's an ebook, maybe it's a real life book. I have about 30 recipes written down so far and this is one of them. And this was the one that, that kind of sparked the idea because I made it for dinner and I was like this this needs to this needs to go in a book. <laughs> the great thing about pasta is that it's really easy to make a really good one with very few ingredients because really as long as you season the water properly you can just toss it with olive oil and maybe a grate of cheese and call it a day. So it kind of feels silly to brag about this having only five ingredients because lots of pastas have only five ingredients. Um, but the point is you can make this with very little stuff on hand. And truthfully, most of these things I always have on hand anyway. So it's a real pantry clean out opportunity. So this one has a name. I call it the blue zinger. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever had those celestial seasonings tea, herbal teas, and there's one that's called lemon zinger. So that's kind of where the name came from, but it also has blue cheese. So it's got the lemon and it's got the blue cheese and it's, it's great. So what five ingredients are we talking about? I'm talking about blue cheese. And in this case, I'm using gorgonzola because it's really, really creamy and melty, but you can use any blue cheese. I have walnuts. These are not toasted. They're just raw walnuts. I have some garlic. I have a lemon and I have some chili flakes. I also have Aleppo chili flakes, which you could really use either of these. I would say that if you're not into spicy, go with the Aleppo because they're a little bit milder and they're, they have a, it has like a bit of a fruitiness to it, but I don't know. I'll decide in the moment which one I'm going to use. As far as the pasta is concerned, you can use any shape. I think a short shape works well with this. I happen to be using the triumph of the pasta world for 2021, which is Cascatelli. This was invented by Dan Pashman of the Sporkful podcast. I've been listening to the Sporkful for, I think I thought about it the other day. It's been like 10 years or something. Um, and my mom ended up buying a whole case of this and gave me a few boxes. This is my last box. It's really, really good. Dan invented it based on three different criteria, which is sauce ability, fork ability, and tooth sink ability. And in my opinion, it really ticks all those boxes. So that's what we're using. And this whole thing comes together in about 15 minutes. So that's also cool. First things first, I'm going to start the pasta. I've got some boiling salted water going and I'm just gonna dump this in. So 100 grams of the cascatelli went into the pot. And meanwhile, I'm just gonna prep this stuff, which is gonna take barely any time. I just have to squash the garlic, chop the walnuts and zest the lemon. <laughs> this microwave here this ugly thing is why we don't see this part of my kitchen very often. So I'm gonna start with a bit of olive oil in a smallish pan. And by the way, in my five ingredient count, olive oil and the pasta itself and salt don't count. So hope that's okay with you. Into the olive oil, I'm gonna add the walnuts and just toast those a little bit. It's gonna start to smell nutty pretty quick. Leave those for about 30 seconds to a minute, just until they start to get nutty. And then I'm gonna add the garlic and the chili flakes and actually the lemon zest too. Everything's going in. And then goes the pasta. So this has been drained. And I saved the pasta water, by the way, because we're gonna need it. The blue cheese is going in. 
and a little splash of the hot pasta water. And then it's just a matter of kind of breaking up the blue cheese with the spoon and letting it kind of become a sauce with the pasta water. And oh, it's gonna be so good. And then just let it cook long enough till the sauce gets like the perfect amount of thickness and kind of clings to the noodles. And the heat is on about medium, by the way. So now you can see the sauce is really thickened up. It's really clinging to the pasta. You can see the bottom of the pan when I move the noodles aside. It's not just flooding with sauce right away, so this is getting really close. Look how thick this has gotten. Oh, it's so good. The last ingredient is the lemon juice, and I'm gonna squeeze an entire lemon in here. This lemon is not that juicy, but we'll take what we can get. And that's just gonna brighten up the whole thing. Look at this. Oh, have you ever seen a more delicious looking pasta dish? I'm so excited about this. Mm. Oh my God. If you wanted to add a sixth or seventh ingredient to this, fresh parsley would be my advice. Mmm. You know what else would be really good in this is thinly sliced Brussels sprouts tossed in with the walnuts at the beginning. That would be great. Mmm. So good. It's salty and blue cheesy, but bright from the lemon. And it's got a little, little kick once in a while from the chili flakes. Mm. And that cascatelli is super tooth sinkable. It's awesome. Mm. That's it for today. I hope you liked this episode. I hope you enjoyed making this pasta with me. I'm really enjoying eating it. So thanks for giving me an excuse to make it. And I'll see you next week.